guys, I'm sorry that it's been a month. <laughs> I tried to film a video last week and I just wasn't in it. I was not into it, so it did not work out very well. And I didn't have anything good enough to post, so I didn't. Um, sorry, I'm just adjusting my Chromebook because it has my cords on it. Um, but anyway, some things that have happened. I visited eight, nine colleges so far. I visited nine colleges so far. I did seven, went on that trip with my mom, like a month ago, <laughs> like at least three weeks ago. Uh, we did that. We went upstate New York schools. Recently I visited um, a state school that, I don't know, I, one of my friends goes to at least. Uh, I visited Manhattan College. That was fun. I met up with my Japanese tutor for the first time in person. It was really fun. We spent the day together and we went to this bookstore, which I loved so much. I loved it so much. I got this cute little, like, cup noodle bag. It's so cute. Um, but I got that. I got a new workbook. Um, I got a uh, manga. Uh, it's going to be part of our lesson. It's all in Japanese. Like, basically the store, the top level of the store is manga. And from what I saw, it was all in Japanese. But I'm sure there must be an English section somewhere. I don't know. Maybe not. It is a Japanese bookstore. Um, so that was really cool to see all that stuff. And then the center is a bunch of like English books. Um, like a normal bookstore is like a lot of books that are in English. Um, and then the lower level has like a whole wall of like Japanese workbooks. Japanese fairy tales for like little kids um, that know Japanese. And it's like... A, it's a book for like little kids that are fluent in Japanese but are learning how to read like kanji and stuff because kanji is hard <laughs> um, so good for them they're obviously a step above me because technically I could read what that stuff says out loud but I won't be able to understand what it means I'm still learning obviously um, but the, it was just a really fun experience I mean the lower level of that store is insane it has plushies, it has pens, stationery workbooks, notebooks for the workbooks, is so much stuff. And magazines, which now I really wish I bought a magazine because I really want to like study a Japanese magazine and like see what that's like. Um, cause like, I don't know, I don't see a lot of like Japanese idol stuff online so I'd like to like read about it. Um, but anyways, absolutely amazing store and I know that there's one where I'm from like 20 minutes away so I want to go there. Um, with like my mom or something for my birthday because I'm a nerd. Um, we went there. Obviously, I had a very good time. Um, we went to a Japanese supermarket. I bought some mochi for my family, and I got some snacks. Um, we went to a cafe right after, and these are all Japanese places. They may s they speak fluent Japanese in these stores because like. A lot of Japanese New Yorkers go there, um, so I got to hear some actual Japanese going on. Um, somebody did did say excuse me in Japanese to me, so I was like, yes, somebody spoke Japanese to me, because everybody was speaking English to me, because I'm white. Um, <laughs> but that was very nice, I was very excited about that. Um, and I got some cake. It was really good. I had onigiri for the first time and I was really excited, which I know it's it's not a very like I know I've already been talking about this for four minutes. I just had a very good time. But it's not like a rare food item. It's a pretty basic food item. Um it's like a rice ball and it can be filled with whatever, but I don't know, I just wanted one for a really long time. So I had a really good time. Um so yeah. And I'm excited to do more of those outings in the future. Um, if anyone's wondering about learning a new language, definitely do it. Especially Japanese, it's really fun. Um, it's hard, but it's really fun. And I really like my tutor. Um, especially when you have the opportunities that I do to like go on an outing. Because I live very close to New York. I live like an hour away from the city. So, um... 
it's really cool to meet my tutor there because she lives in New York and we get to like go around to all the places so that's really fun also the whole pen pal thing that's really fun so if you want to do language you should definitely do that I know that this was a really long intro I'm sorry <laughs> but I figured I'd catch you guys up I also decided to straighten my hair today which I don't really like it um, for my fellow TikTok fans, um, there is that meme circling around about the berries and cream dude, and I look like that. So I had to put on makeup, because without it, I definitely look like that. Um, but anyways, that's basically what my past few weeks have been like. Honestly, the Japanese thing was just this weekend, so that's pretty new. Um, but I did go to Tennessee, which was really cool. Um, I did the whole upstate New York thing. There's a lot of fields. There's a lot of mountains. It's what you would... It's... It's... Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's what you would... Uh, it's what you would expect of upstate. There you go. Jesus. Um, I got overexcited. My words didn't work. But anyway, I'm finally ready to do music stuff. I'm gonna do that. Um, if you have any questions about language stuff, hit me up. I'll tell you my experience like with, like, Japanese or something. Um, I'm very baby level, very tiny, tiny, minimal conversations. Enough to hold a conversation with my pen pal, like a basic one. Like, our introduction, very fast. As we get into more complex topics, it can be a little hard, but yeah. If y'all want to know anything about that, DM me. Um, because I really like talking about it, obviously. Anyways, if you've made it this far, good job. If you skipped, I don't blame you. But, I will start singing now. Jeez. I have filmed this 20 times. Want to know how I know? There's 20 of these in the delete folder. I'm so sweaty. Okay.
story I hate But I tell it to cope with the pain I'm so sorry if you can relate, relate. Dang <laughs> Oh no Okay, considering the fact that I physically don't think I can do this anymore, that's just, that's gonna have to be good enough. Um, except for the first part where I messed up the literal name of the song in the chorus. Um, for some reason selfish was the only thing that came to mind, but, you know, whatever. Um, that and then that part at the end, oh, that's so unsatisfying that the last chord was messed up. Oh my god. But as you can tell, my voice is like a little, ooh, it's tired. It's tired, it's ready to go away. My fingers really hurt from the chords because I'm not used to those chords and they were hard. Um, I'm not a good guitar player, guys. We know this. I started off in acapella, so you should be lucky that there's any guitar at all. Anyways, oh, wow, he was offended. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later, hopefully next week. Who knows, I was supposed to come back two weeks ago to record this, so who knows when I'll record another one. But anyway, for those of y'all that have already started school, good for you. I just found out that we're delayed um, by a few days because in the district, other schools have mold. Um, and the district uh, has to start at the same time. So I get a few more days, which is good because I have a wedding on what used to be the second day of school and I would have had to miss some of my classes, which really stinks. So I'm glad that I don't have to miss that. Um, and it's also my sister's birthday, so yay. Um, but yeah, if my comments are turned off because YouTube knows that I'm a minor still for another year, um, feel free to comment on the most recent Instagram post. I don't really post that much. I should probably post a little more, but you know, I post there sometimes. I post originals that I just wrote or covers that I feel like redoing that I maybe already put here, maybe didn't. Um, pictures whenever my friend and I do a little photo shoot because she likes to take pictures and stuff. Um, uh, but yeah. Ow. My wrist is cracked. But... If the comments are turned off and you feel the need to say anything, you can say it on there. Nice things, please. Um, and if you have any questions about language stuff or guitar stuff or singing stuff, technically I don't have a lot of knowledge on the guitar slash singing stuff, but if you want to ask anyway, then sure. Um, but yeah, follow my Instagram, they underscore call underscore me underscore LaRoche. I will be putting the guitar tab in the description for those of you who want to use the guitar tab even though it's the first thing that comes up but yeah i will see you guys later